Hello guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Welcome to Add Maths Plus Maths. I am now on the third question on Additional Mathematics, Paper 1, Variant 3 of October-November 2018. This question is all about absurd, but we will be trying to apply some uh, concept about Sokotoa or the trigonometric ratio. Okay. Because this is a question about a right angle triangle. Okay? So in his in this question, do not use a calculator. All lengths are in centimeters. A triangle ABC is such that B or angle B is equivalent to 90 degrees. So it is a triangle wherein it's a right triangle. Okay, and B is the 90 degrees. So this is 90 degrees. So definitely I can put A or B or C anywhere. Okay, so it says AB is 5 square root of 3 plus 5. And BC is equivalent to 5 square root of 3 minus 5 okay for the first question you need to look for the length of AC in simplest third form if you will notice this is a right triangle so I can apply a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared which is our Pythagoras theorem okay so I am just basically square squaring the first and the second so it will become 5 square root of 5, 3 5 square root of 3 plus 5 square then I'll add it with 5 square root of 3 minus 5 then square is equal now to AC squared because AC is our hypotenuse and C is always the hypotenuse. Okay, I'll expand this. This will become 5 squared is 25, square root of 3 squared is 3. So I, re I repeat 5 squared, square root of 3 squared, which is equivalent now to 5 squared is 25, 25 times 3. And 25 times 3 is 75. Next, 5 square root of 3 times 5 is 25 square root of 3. So 5 times 5 square root of 3 is equal to 25 square root of 3 times 2. Times 2 is equivalent to plus 50 square root of 3. Okay, then plus... 25. Next, plus 5 square root of 3 squared is, of course, remember a while ago, 75. 5 square root of 3 times negative 5 is negative 25 square root of 3 times 2 is negative 50 square root of 3. Then, plus 25. Okay? It is equal now to a c squared and negative 50 square root of 3 and negative 50 square root of 3 can be removed 75 plus 25 plus 75 plus 25 is already 200 is equal now to a c squared okay i'll just basically square root both sides i am not allowed to have a negative value because we are talking about distance or length so a c is equivalent now to square root of 200 and square root of 200 is equivalent to square root of 100 times square root of 2 which is now equivalent to square root of 100 is 10 square root of 2 so the simplest answer or the simplest third form of the length AC is 10 square root of 2 okay if this is now 10 square root of 2, find tangent BCA. BCA. 
So this is the angle that we are dealing with. And tangent BCA giving your answer in the form A plus B squared of 3 where A and B are integers. Always remember in so katoa or trigonometric so ka toa or well known as trigonometric ratios. Okay. Tangent is always equivalent to opposite over adjacent. So it will become tangent BCA. Tangent BCA is equivalent now to 5 square root of 3 plus 5, which is the opposite of that angle. Opposite is 5 square root of 3 plus 5 divided by the adjacent is 5 square root of 3 minus 5. 5 square root of 3 minus 5. Okay, but you cannot uh, you cannot leave it like that because we have to do it in this form. So I just need to, what do you call this process? This process now is what you call rationalization. And it's rash when we talk about rationalization, we have to multiply both the numerator and the denominator with the opposite operation for this. I'll have 5 square root of 3 plus 5. Why plus 5? So that if I'll apply the product of a sum and a difference, I can remove the, I can immediately remove now the uh, third from the denominator. So I'll come up with, okay, 5 square root of 3, okay, 5 square root of 3, times 5 square root of 3 is equivalent to 25 times 3. 25 times 3 is 75. Okay, since they are the same, it's like what we did here. So 75 plus 50 square root of 3 plus 25 divided by, okay. Now you see, you have the rule A plus B times A minus B is equivalent to a squared minus b squared. So let's just apply this one. Okay. What is the square of 5? It is 25. 25 times 3 because the square root of 3 squared is 3. 25 times 3 is 75. Then what is the square of 5? It is 25. So 25 since it says minus, I'll put minus over there. Okay. 75 times 75, uh, 75 plus 25 is 100. So I'll get a 100 over there. Okay. I'll just move this one. Okay. I have 100 plus 50 square root of 3 divided by 75 minus 25 is 50. So definitely, I'll get or the value of tangent BCA is 100 divided by 50 is 2 plus square root of 3. Thus, A is equal to 2, A is equal to 2, and B is equal to 1. Okay? I hope you have learned something. And if you have learned something today, from watching this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and also share it with your friends who are studying mathematics and additional mathematics. Wait for the marking scheme so that you can verify if our answers are correct. Thank you.